Okay, hello and welcome to this Let's Play of the Crusader Kings 2 Forums Game of the Week. Uh, this week the challenge is to play as this character, not that character, this character, uh, Radboud Folkwalding of Holland, um, and to retake the Kingdom of Frisia. Uh, I can't show it here. The Kingdom of Frisia that apparently wants my ancestors' help. So essentially, take all did Yuri land in the Kingdom of Frisia um, and survive. So without further ado, I'm going to play it in Iron Man. Um, I'm not sure what other options I can show you, but everything else is set to look, basically. Let's go. Uh, no. And I'll call this Game of the Week Holland. Let's go. So I haven't had a look around yet at what my position is. So I'm probably going to get caught off guard by some stuff and not know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see this de jure, de jure kingdom of Frisia. So it consists of four duchies. Holland, which is going to be my primary duchy ultimately. Um, Gallery, which currently resides still in Lothringia. Brabant, which also resides in Lothringia. And Flanders, this is going to be the hard one to get, is in... France. Uh, it might be less hard to get because probably both of these realms will be joined at some point. Likelihood is I will probably try and not become king until I absolutely am sure of myself, which means that I'm probably just going to be a duke right up until I take that last bit of the Dure land and then declare myself king and see where it goes from there. Um, because I have to declare independence first and this way I get a bit more protection from my king than I otherwise would. So pump the speed up a couple of notches, pick an ambition. I'm already married and I already have a son, so those are my first two ambitions just gone out the window. My diplomacy is mm, all right, and that's my best at. So let's just work on improving, let's just work on improving Marshall for now, since I can do that quickly. My laws, I only hold one county currently and I have no vassals, so city taxation. I pass my law immediately. Wonderful. So, my law is Agnatic Cardinatic Gavelkin, Gavelkin, Gavelkin. Makes sense. I'll probably try and change this to elective as soon as possible, because being elective is generally pretty good. <coughs> Technology is awful, but then that's what you expect. The other thing that I'm going to have to watch out for is Vikings will come and pillage my land constantly um, especially if they manage to take over Britain but even if they don't the Vikings love to focus on this north area here so I'm that's going to be my main issue I think from the screenshot that was shared in the thread I'm also probably going to have to watch out for my Duke immediately trying to take my land away from me my Duke is Norse so uh, I might not actually get raided by Vikings <laughs> Well, no, I'll still get raided by Vikings if that happens, but um, my Duke may go north, so that's another interesting thing that can happen. I'm not getting any technology points because I'm not a Duke, um, so that's an issue. My Bishop is not providing me with anything, probably because he likes the Pope better. Yep, we'll have to do something about that. Uh, making my cut bearer. That's pretty much all I can do for now. Hopefully he'll like me a bit more later long reign penalties and all that. Um, I could try and form the Holy Roman Empire, but I'm not going to. I could try and demand a duchy from my liege, but I'm not going to. Um, first of all, borrow money from the merchants. That's actually going to make my bishop money less, but 300 free gold, can't complain. What I might start off doing, why can't I do this? Oh, it has to be November, it has to be May, it has to be September. I might go on a pilgrimage. What plots can I do? Fabricate a claim on the duchy. Uh, kill my son. Why would I do that? Oh no, kill Dirk of Holland. Who is Dirk of Holland? And why would I kill him? Oh. Huh. I think if I kill this child, I'll become heir to Zealand. Is that true? No. 
that's not true at all. I think I might be in this succession line. I don't know. I don't know why this would be a plot. Or I can kill my wife, but I don't want to. So, is anybody willing to help us fabricate a claim? Mm, one. Uh, a few people might help, but I would need to pay them lots of money and it wouldn't be enough, I think, to kick off the plot, so I'm not going to. I could start a faction, but I don't want those factions to kick off either. So I won't. Religion, that's fine. Not going to do anything with that. Um, we don't have the free investiture law, so that's fine. And we're going to assume for now that all these people are the best that they can be. So, first things first is probably to try and take Stipt. Which is going to be a pain because it's a bishopric. But there you have it. Right. Set him, training troops, set him, collecting taxes. Stealing technology doesn't seem worthwhile, does it? Now, technology will spread to me faster if I do that, which could be helpful. So let's study technology. I can reach Constantinople, so I will. And improve religious relations with the Pope, because why wouldn't you? <coughs> I'm going to play this as a fairly standard game. I'm not going to try any of the kind of become a heresy and take over the land and stuff. Um, I did say I was going to try and make this fairly beginner friendly. I might be going quite fast. And if you're watching this as a beginner and not knowing what's going on, then I apologise. But I am going to try and explain what I'm doing and why a little bit more than I normally would. Just because I know that there are going to be some beginner people uh, watching. Or, you know, hopefully. So, with that much chatter... I haven't actually set my timer, but let's assume that it's been about uh, five minutes. I'll set my timer while we go. I tend to record for about uh, 20 minutes at a time, but we'll see. I might start going up to half an hour. I've become master of the horse, so this guy actually wants me to like him. And we're already at war. <laughs> we're already at war with the Muslims because the Italians are at war with the Muslims. That's fine. I can deal with that. So, let's go on that pilgrimage. Gain some piety. It'll make people like me more. Hey, whatever. I'm going to go visit a holy site in the west. Uh, purely for RP reasons. I don't want to go too far at the moment. I'll go to Santiago, which I think is probably also full of Muslims at the moment. I don't know. I'm sure I'll be safe. My regent is my spy master by the looks of it. Right, the rain has been pouring down for days. It's almost impossible to travel the roads. Why does the Lord punish his faithful pilgrims so... Um, so we can be blessed and have a 10% chance of getting pneumonic, 30% chance of ill. Or we can get a... Or we can half those chances. I am going to say blessed is he. Looks like we're fine. Yeah, we're blessed. We are blessed. Right, you lay awake at night reflecting on your pilgrimage. Not, not good events happening on this pilgrimage. It's an inner journey as well as a physical one. But can you be sure of which destination it will take you to? Do you ever want to have that certainty? So, I could get a 10% chance of depressed, zealous, poet, mystical scholar. Or I could just not. Do I want these? Scholar will... Scholar will do nothing for me. Because I'm not getting any... Learning is basically... It's useful for advancing technology and I'm not doing that. So scholar would be useful. Mystic will get me plus one intrigue, which is pretty poor as far as anything ever goes. Poet would get me plus one diplomacy. Zealous. Zealous is nice, but I've only got a 10% chance. And no. It's all right there on the map. Time to get some sleep. I just don't care. Completely ignore that. Ooh, struggling a little bit. Let's put up to sleep for. Right, Santiago. You have finally arrived at Santiago, the oldest major pilgrimage site in the West. An inland town close to the Atlantic Ocean with origins going back at least to the Roman Empire. The fabled way of St. James is a long road to travel and you have passed through many towns and villages on your way here. The legends hold that as St. James remains were brought here by ship from Jerusalem, they were lost at sea due to a storm. But soon after they were miraculously washed ashore, how about that? Um, I've lost my place. Covered in scallops. 
Because of this, scallop shells have become a popular souvenir among pilgrims. Your mind dwells on the legends of this holy place as you make your way through the crowds towards the centre of town. Sorry, I was, I was trying to find where Santiago is, but it's, I, it occurs to me it's not actually marked on the map here, and I have no idea um, about Spain. I must remember to bring a sea home with me. Somebody who knows where Santiago is, I'm an idiot. Travelling all this way to see the holy places you had hoped for... Uh, I'm already cynical. More than this, it just looks like some people, some churches, and a few bones that really look quite suspicious. Before coming, you had read the exalted stories of other pilgrims, but this just isn't like they described it. Um, normally you'd gain cynical, I'm already cynical, so I'm going to come home a cynic still. Um, I won't tell my family what really happened out there. I finally returned my, my pilgrimage. Didn't turn out quite as expected, and perhaps you shouldn't have gone there in the first place. It's starting to look like it, to be honest. But there's no changing it now, at least you're home and you can start forgetting about it. Yep. So I lose some piety, but I gain the pilgrim trait, which gets me general piety, and people of my faith like me more. So yes, the problem there is, everything was awful. Yay. But hey, that happens. Um, your liege, Duke Schrocker, has issued a decree calling for the expulsion of all unlanded Jews from the entire realm, citing various grievances committed by them against the crown. Alas, this means my loan cannot be repaid. And I lose my uh, debt, which means my bishop won't hate me anymore. And in fact, he likes me more than the Pope, so he's beginning to give me money. Excellent. Um, yes, and that's why you borrow from the Jews early. Let's... Oh, I was going to hold a summer fair, but in trying to say that I was going to hold a summer fair, I was too slow in actually holding a summer fair. Less talking, more actioning. Um, unfortunately, this beginning bit is quite dull. I might actually end up cutting this out. Um, I'm probably going to do a long video and a short video, and my long video will be everything, and my short video will be the interesting things. And this is not one of the interesting things, because this is me waiting to fabricate a claim on a county with a 4.5% chance yearly, because my chancellor is awful, and I'm probably going to get a new guy. Uh, a pop-up just went away. Oh, steward. Ugh. Ugh. Right, let's make my bishop my steward. That'll make him like me more, even if he is abysmal. Um, right, men... Any religion, culture, adults, doesn't matter. No, married, don't care. Essentially, I'm going to see if I can find somebody. My religion is necessary, actually. Um, who I can invite over here. And people you can invite generally are people who have claims on somewhere because they think that you'll have the power to press them and who like you a lot and who don't like their liege. So it's very tough early in the game to get somebody like that. Um, especially when you're small, nobody thinks that you have the power to press their claims. But essentially, I'm going to try and... Yeah, no reason to move is an issue. Because I want people to come to my court who have good diplomacy. So really, what I'm looking for is somebody who likes me just a bomb. Nobody even likes me that much. My uncle, who is the court chaplain of Holland... I could order him to take the vows, despite the fact he's already a... No, oh, he's got terrible diplomacy, which is why he's not already. Uh, the people who like me are pretty much already in my court and have terrible diplomacy. So, whatever. Oh, God. Uh, I've got smallpox. Look at that. Look at that face. Oh. Um, and I'm better. Yeah. That smallpox. That is, that is your experience with smallpox. It looks like it's spreading and just sticking around here. A priest has arrived and asked for an audience. After being shown in, he explains that his small church can no longer protect the holy relic it holds due to robbers plaguing the countryside. Therefore, ask for your family to keep it. Fear not, we shall protect it. This is nice, we get that owns a holy relic. It gives us more piety, gives us immediate piety, and occasionally, you'll get to bring it out and bless the fields and get even more piety. So, I'm going to be quite pious by the looks of it. Unfortunately, piety doesn't do much for me. Uh, troublesome parent, peasants, whatever. Um... I might see about fabricating that claim now. So how much do I need to fabricate a claim? To have a good chance of fabricating a claim, I need 100%. Or I need 75% for an alright chance. And I can get 29, 37, 37, 40, 50, 59, uh, 67, 73, I could actually get up to 100% if I bribed a lot of people. So, 
let's bribe a lot of people. Um, you. Oh, that's expensive. Fine. It's going to be worth it. I want this claim. Um, whoops. Yeah. Here goes all my money from Jewish moneylenders. However, having these people like me is also just generally useful. Mm. Let's see where that leaves me first of all. Because I might just take the 60% option if I can. Um, and save money from mercenaries. Because I'm going to need mercenaries if I want to press the claim. Now getting this claim and pressing it is probably the first most important thing. Oh. There seems to be something broken. Let's try that again. Come on, everybody said they'd come and join my invite to plot. Uh, invite to plot. Auto invite plotters doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Invite to plot. Right, that's it for now. This guy. You want to come to my plot, but you also want a bit more money first. I'm not going to give you it. 42, 55, 71, right, I need to bribe one more person. Um, but I only need to bribe a cheap person. You, he'll do. I say cheap. There we are. Brings it up to 78. So, with the aid of my fellow conspirators, I managed to fabricate a claim. Excellent. Right. Now I can start a faction to put myself in charge. And I'm going to save up money to try and get some mercenaries. Mercenaries cost a lot of money. Other people in this faction might want to join me. Uh, where is the duchy? In fact, don't tell me the de jure duchy. De jure. Tell me what he actually holds. Oh, he holds... Only he holds quite a lot. That's good. I like that. So, other people might join my faction. Who is the most powerful in the duchy? right click to scroll along here by the way. Uh, it took me a long time to discover that. I leave to leave Holland. Right, Hrothulfer. 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 Um, doesn't like me, doesn't like him. He's the most powerful. Me? I'm the next most powerful? Uh, some other guy is powerful. This guy does like me doesn't like him. My brother-in-law, the Count of Zealand, is my ally already, so I might not bother. Um, let's try and get... Let's see if we can get Hrothulf in on this. Hrothulf, probably. Ostfriesland. If we scheme in Ostfriesland, there's a chance of getting him to join our faction. While I save up money for first. So I need about 200 gold before I can even think about pressing this claim. Um, my wife is pregnant. So apparently I have 170 watts it percent of my vassals Apparently I'm more powerful than him, and I'm not sure why. It might be because everyone hates him. And if I declare a revolt, then it's true that... Um, let's... Let's lie. Um, I'll get a little bit more power, but I don't... I don't trust this when it says that I have more power than him which is why I'm waiting for mercenaries and support if possible. I'm not sure if I'll be able to call my brother-in-law in. It's difficult to tell. Uh, I'm still young, so this claim should last a while, so that's fine. Um, it really is just a case of waiting for the money, like I say. Um, and yeah. So yes, this is the not particularly interesting bit. 
where we just wait and get money. I should probably speed up the game, but I'm not going to. I just don't like going fast. Um, so like I say, if you are not a fan of watching me waiting to fabricate claims or whatever, uh, my uncle is concerned that he's not married. I will find him someone nice. Uh, how about you get married to this random woman? There you are, she's nice. Look at her, she's pretty. Right, important not to spend money on stupid events. Bribing people cost a lot of money there. My Chancellor has died, but I can get a slightly better Chancellor. And he can improve my relations in Zealand just to make sure that my brother is going to join me if he can. Oh look, actually he might have already joined me. Yeah, my brother-in-law has already joined me. Right, in this case, let's go. Um, oh, I was powerful enough that he's actually just given me the duchy. So there we are. This is good. I like this. Okay, this is a good start. Demand installation of claimant. No, I can't. Right. Cool. Now I've got the issue in that I've I've got a bigger... I said the issue. Now I've got the issue in that my brother apparently hates me. Um... Right, let's just unboard for a second. Wait for that silly faction message to go away. I don't want to join independence, and I don't want to join... I don't want to join any of these factions. I'm happy without joining factions. Right. Now is when I start revoking titles. Uh, first of all, I want to revoke the county of West Friesland, and other people are going to help me do that. Um, you can always revoke titles that are in your primary duchy. Um, so, you're supposed to hold your primary duchy if possible. So that's what we're going to do. We now also can get... I'm not going to put these up because I want my vassals to like me and I'm a bit worried about that. So, my laws are actually okay as they are. My... I'm going to raise levies a little bit because I am going to need some levies at some point. I can now get much better people, well, not better than him, he's awesome. My steward I'll leave the same because this guy doesn't like me for whatever reason, probably because I'm taxing him into the ground. My spy master could also be that guy who hates me. My court chaplain uh, is my uncle and he's fine. Um, actually, my brother wants to be steward and he really, really likes me, so we're going to make him a steward because he's better than who I've currently got. My guy can improve diplomatic relations probably in Ostfriesland because this guy is going to hate me. Yep. I will probably end up revoking his title eventually. Uh, my spy master can go back to studying technology because I don't need him anymore. My marshal is training troops. That's fine. Just trying to put laws up. Right. Let's get some people to join this thing here. I've got a dangerous faction already. It's the Schroker for Holland faction. Well, it won't be able to trigger when I trigger my revocation. Um, normally, I'd raise my troops and move them into the area. But I don't want this faction to kick off. So, then more it is. He's got plenty of troops. I won't be able to siege him down. So this might have been a little silly. Okay. Down the brakes. I've got two units in my army. Hopefully he doesn't have any more than that in his. We're actually going to put this guy at the head of the army because he might die and that'll be great if he does. And charge into battle. He's got lower morale than me for whatever reason. Let's just go. Uh, he's called his brother into the fight. Magyar's no more. Well, but. I've messed this one up a little bit. You. Right, what I really need is some mercenaries. 
<laughs> Can I invite the Jews back? No. I can't try and assassinate him. <coughs> hmm. Right, what if I offer white goose? No, he knows that he's winning. I uh, have a 27% chance of assassinating him. I'm not sure if that'll end the war. I might try and do that, because it's going to be cheaper than trying to recruit mercenaries. And it might end the war without me messing up, really. I should have got some allies first, really. When are you available again? Now. Um, Count of Friesland um, also hates me. Fine. What? Did I say I won't be blackmailed? Is that what I just did? No, okay, there we are. Right, that didn't work out so well. But, we can try it again. Try and make him like me a bit more. And start this faction again. <laughs> this is going to flip-flop a little bit. But whatever. Let's choose a plot. Let's try and kill this guy. Who wants to join me? Nobody wants to join me without me paying them. Apart from my brother, he'll join me. Everyone else wants money. Oh, you're all so expensive. about killing this guy? Yeah. People hate this guy. There we are. He's going into prison and out of prison. It's fine. Oh, uh, it looks like my timer has run out for this episode. So join me next time when we will see something happen. See you next time.